so many ups and downs in life and I went through some of those literally going through the Aravali range to come here, the Manav Ratsai University, where the endeavor is to create front runners in the global business space. Here's the cool part. They want to make sure that these front runners always have their culture intact. You know, before we get into all of that, this place actually has amazing history. This is the place where I want you to check it out. Part of Manav Rachna International University, the Faculty of Management Studies was founded in 2008. It was started with the aim of meeting the needs of the corporate sector in the booming Indian economy. Its faculty strives to maximize the potential and leadership skills of its students. Hi Paris. Hi. I'm Rasak Mathur. I'm the director of the institute. Hi. The director? Yes. What? Come on, I'll take you to the director of the campus and I'll make you meet some of my students. Sounds lovely. Hi. Hey, hi Rasak, how are you? Hi man, good yeah. Yes sir. Good, good. Hi, hi. Really... Okay, that's really cool. I like the fact that the director of the institute is referred to by his first name. How does that happen? Uh, I think you got fooled too. He is not the director of uh, the institute. Actually, he is my friend and he is a classmate. Uh, he is the part of that program, director of the day and today he is the director. That makes sense. I was actually wondering all this while, how does the director look so young? Yeah, I get it now. You were pulling my leg, weren't you? <laughs> yeah. Actually, this is a unique initiative by Faculty of Management Studies that every student gets an opportunity to act as a director of the day. And you know, it feels great to sit on the seat of the director. Now, in this uh, initiative, what we do is uh, we take care of all the administrative activities that take place around here, uh, including the disciplinary, the schedules for the students, uh, organizing activities and, you know, suspending someone, in fact, for that matter. So you get a taste of the power and what comes Yes, and you know, you also imbibe some leadership uh, qualities in you and uh, you know, in future whenever some uh, something comes up like this, so you have a prior experience of being a leader, so you can guide someone and which you can, good. yeah. So this while you're really enjoying being the director, I want you to remember what Spider-Man said, which is, with great power comes, comes great, great responsibility. responsibility. Yes, well definitely. Done. So you met the director of the day, but I want you to go and meet the director of the institute, the real one. We have uh, based all our curriculum our teaching pedagogy on two, two basic fundamental principles of learning. One, we all have multiple intelligences and second, everybody has a different learning style. We have diverse faculty, very entrepreneurial faculty and uh, because we focus on holistic training, we have uh, not only the very latest trends of what the industry requires are incorporated in our curriculum, but also we have made this employability skills and life skills a part of the course structure itself. Some of the students we can boast of, of course they've gone to good corporates, but I like to talk about Gagan Narang, Anurad Singh, see because we focus on holistic development. We're all trying to earn our bread. In different parts of the world, it's called the bread, it's called the roti. Here, it's called the Amritsari Kulcha. So much so that they have all place around it. It's called the Kulcha Hut. Hello, guys. Hello. Hi. So, you're obviously learning lots of stuff to earn your bread here. That's one part of it. But what's the stuff that you possibly learn outside the classroom? Basically, we go for the outbound trainings uh, outside our schools, outside our colleges. We are, we are in a situations where uh, we have limited food also. That Basically, this whole activity is for that how we ma manage our resources and everything. We have a great tie-up with Haryana Police here, uh, it's called CSR, Corporate Social Responsibility, so in which we uh, go for the police activity every Monday. I usually go to the traffic signal and uh, what I have observed there is the, that the job of a policeman, traffic policeman is not an easy one. It's quite a tough job and when it comes to you, when you have, you have to do it, then you realize that uh, it's not a piece of cake. Speaking of appreciating, the one thing everyone always appreciates on campus is lots and lots of masti and fun. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel you guys have a really good time. That's all the fun stuff that you do on campus. The Manavashna College is not, you know, basically concentrated not only on the studies, but it equally concentrates on the sports acti activities and all. We have this shooting range and we have the squash uh, court and the basketball courts and as well as the volleyball court. Awesome. So you've got a volleyball court, you've got a squash court, you've got a badminton court, you've got a basketball court. Can I please be extremely cheesy and say the ball of success is in your court. Yes. <laughs> so lovely. Of course, of course, I'm smiling, which is very, very nice. But the thing is, I'm really, really stressed. Can you hear my heartbeat? How about now? How about now?
Okay, sir. I'm done with the test. Okay. Looking at the test, the results will be. Although you are good on decision making, but certain factors are missing. That something I feel is speed. So what you're basically saying is that I need to be a lot um, um... quick response, quick response. Stop thinking too much and start acting. So quickness, I will work on that. The thing about all of these psychometric tests is that it's a very clinical way of measuring the students in their aptitude, their logic, their decision making skills, which I incidentally clearly do not possess, but they certainly do. The question though is, what is it that the students are being constantly groomed for? Let's go find out. Manurachana as an educational entity enjoys tremendous goodwill of the employers, whether they are multinational companies or Indian companies. We have invited about 200 companies in last uh, three years and plays about more than 3,000 students. Specifically when we talk about B schools, around 75 uh, companies have taken 500 MBA students. The average salary has been around 3 uh, lakhs per annum and the maximum salary was 7.5 lakhs per annum. MRIU is quite active with a good number of universities across continents. Uh, we have very active tie-ups where 20, 40 students will be visiting uh, under student exchange program in the June 2013. We have strong industry connect with a lot of uh, international and national educational providers. Our um, knowledge partners uh, include KPMG which is a global leader in tax audit and financial services. They have presence in 150 countries. We have a uh, tie up with the uh, Hay Group who are again uh, world leader in HR, in uh, leadership and strategic management uh, aspects. Uh, we have tie up with the JBM uh, who are again a reputed Indian automobile leader. They are providing uh, education and the engineering services in uh, automotive sector and uh, providing lot of uh, placement opportunities and training opportunities to students. Uh, this is how we are trying to maintain our relation, uh, relationships with uh, a very reputed uh, uh, knowledge partners as well as with international organizations, international institutions and universities of repute. You know when the university is called Manav Ratsha, those two words together mean nothing but human development. And when you're studying in a place which vouches for those two words, how can the students not succeed, right? On that note, bye-bye guys. One of the landmarks of the life of Ashoka the Great was the Kalinga War, a war that he waged which resulted in the death of about a hundred thousand soldiers, finally where the emperor actually embraced Buddhism as a result of the war. That's the past. The future though is right here. I'm at the School of Management at KIIIT University, also called KSOM, where they talk about the science, the art and the technology of business. Let's go see what this institute has to offer. Founded in 1993, the KIIT School of Management in Bhubaneswar aims to turn its students into inspiring business leaders by providing them with the right mix of academic and industry experience along with a sense of responsibility towards the society at large. So KSOM has built on a very interesting vision and to know more about that, I'm with the founder, Mr. Samit. Hello, sir. Thank you very much. So tell me about the vision of the institute. We are happy that we have been able to set up a very beautiful institute with very good infrastructure and everything. So vision definitely we have that to see that institute should be excellent one and one of the promising institute in, in the management sector in the entire country. So how are you making sure that you turn the vision into a reality? What do you do on a day-to-day -day basis to get there? You see, we have been doing for the last 17-18 years and uh, we have been very much successful. We are very much student friendly and uh, we are very much environment friendly and we are very much interested to give the best exposure to our students, which is very much required at this present age. It is the age of exposure. So though we are situated in the state like Odisha, but we are able to give the all national uh, exposure to our students. So if I to ask you about one thing which is completely unique to yeah. KSOM, what would that be? KSOM has many unique things, but uh, I can cite one to unique things. Besides teaching, campus placement is also very unique. We are achieving 90% uh, 
campus placement for our students for the last so many years in spite of so many recession or anything is going on in the market and in spite of our locational disadvantages we are able to give the very good placement to our students so student disking yeah. and the placement is very very good always yeah. thank you very much sir thank you very much thank you it has given me the freedom to explore myself ksm has helped me develop my overall personality that has made me a good human being at ksm apart from great corporate and cultural exposure academics i also we discovered my artistic side i have got sense for life and great moments to treasure the voices of the students that clearly spell out the fact that they love kya hai that's really the larger question why did you join this institute As we all know, professionalism is something which we all are looking for today. And when it comes to corporate exposure, I think KIIT is the best place. Apart from the academics, we are given a global exposure so that it grooms us better to face the corporate world. So, apart from the studies, I'm sure there's also like other activities that you indulge in all the time. What are those? There are like seven different clubs, like the finance club, HR club, marketing club, and alumni club. So, it's all our student driven completely. College always gives us. complete support to do things which are outside academics even we have our annual kesom cricket league and then our um, uh, in house which is basically our inter intersection tournament and uh, name any sport and you get it in a click be it basketball badminton tennis and even swimming the institute also takes you beyond just the academics into connecting you with the industry itself right so tell me about that what's the very strong industry connect you have yeah uh, so uh, mainly we have three national conclaves each year uh, finance marketing and hr and along with that we have national management uh, conclaves uh, which help us to uh, which get speakers to speak to us and interact with them so as to to get the clear exposure of the industry and the corporate world and speaking of other people who really uh, change your life so much you've also got a very excellent faculty here like if you're hearing about them so tell me about that the best part about faculty culture is they're all uh, corporate guys and a mixture of corporate guys and well as academic guys the major chunk of the professors are from iits and iims so they are well graded and well respected people in our college apart from that we have full time doctorate professors they stay with us entirely from morning to evening whatever doubt we have any problem with us we can directly walk up to a professor that is how they help us in our college which is why you got faculty which is always around the corner so thank you very much guys thank and you, speaking of the faculty they are the guys who really mentor them through and through here's what the faculty has to say we have structured a very intensive mentoring program which is three tiered so we uh, mentor our students by faculty senior students and industry people also so each of these students is attached to one of the 40 faculties and they take help uh, for career guidance for academic help and also for placement training we have created a set of teaching methodologies which are contemporary for example we call this uh, teaching methodologies to be capturing in c i a c stands for concepts i stands for illustration and a stands for applications two years back we started a new program called mba in entrepreneurship now mba in entrepreneurship uh, the students in the program they are not looking for placements they are looking to start their own venture down the line and these programs are delivered by faculty members who are visiting faculty members who are drawn from the industry who are practicing entrepreneurs In a classroom, you learn lots of business jargon. You learn lots of marketing ideas, and you might also run by the cliche, which is to make hay while the sun shines. That's exactly what you did when you passed out. With just that one idea in place, you started a business. So tell me about that. Uh, Kids Column Management helped me a lot in uh, this uh, respect. Here, the ideas in the classroom studies parallelly uh, the scope available in Odisha uh, has given me a vision to form. a greener odisha and now we are going ahead with uh, odisha is going to have 500 megawatts of solar power plants 
in uh, next uh, couple of years. Okay, superb. So the seeds of that can have been sown right here at this very institute. For you, for example, you could have taken any of the routes. You could have taken a job or you could have started your own business. You chose the second one. Why is that? Yeah. In fact, that time, the institute do have a lot of people from industry. So we used to connect them directly. Instead of the theoretical, we are into more practical. That is the only thing helped me to think beyond the the theory, the theory things to be more practical and do something of my own. From the two gentlemen who have actually gone ahead and started their own enterprise, there's Achinto now who has that dream which is in his mind. He wants to create his own business. So what are you going to be doing about that? See, my dream, uh, dream is all about uh, doing organic farming. Now every, everywhere we are hearing green, green, uh, like um, everyone wants to have fresh and unadulterated food. So my idea is to have inputs given across for organic farming. Some student might want to have the right idea of going across the world. I like it. Achinto actually wants to go back to the very grassroots level and create something which is nothing short of being organic. Thank you very much, guys. While TSOM provides a platform to its students to accomplish their entrepreneurial business plans, it also, through its various annual events, has been bringing its students to interact with eminent personalities and showcase their talent beyond academics. You can learn about teamwork in a classroom, you can study about teamwork in a textbook, but you can actually practice it like this with a physical, real team out doing an activity. <coughs> Okay, so Suman, I have a question for you. This is super fun, but how is this actually helping with teamwork? Now, see, like uh, leadership and team building, these are critical to our organization. So, so we are getting to learn about this on a practical basis. Like, uh, so we can see, like, this is helping us to know about teamwork. Uh, we can, uh, we can, you know, how a person with this leadership quality can manage the team. All this we are getting to learn on a practical basis. Like we learn all those in classrooms, in classrooms and all, in like in theories. But here we are getting to learn on a practical basis. So in business, you always hear about two ideologies. One is every man for himself, which I guess is all alright. The other is about the spirit of teamwork. Quite honestly, when you finish a task like this, it's so much more fun, isn't it? Lovely. Yeah. Yeah. It's been awesome fun at K-Song because these guys are a brilliant bunch and of course I've learned that teamwork is absolutely essential. Bye bye guys!